Hello, hello. My name is Kat. Uh, I'm a, a faculty member at CIT and grateful to be one. Thank you, Rose, for asking me to uh, do the land acknowledgement. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing this little film in my sweet apartment in a city that is referred to as Toronto, but it's traditionally known as Takaranto, where the trees meet the water, the gathering place. And this is our gathering place right now on Zoom and the internet web wormhole space. Um, However, we are situated on the traditional lands of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Anishinaabe, the Huron-Wendat, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. And we are grateful to live and work and create on these storied and sacred lands that have been stewarded by Indigenous peoples for thousands and thousands of years. So, here's to this showcase and to all of you, and I can't wait to witness. Thank you so much. Hello? Hi. Yeah, yeah, I'm going back. I fly late on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I'm just um, packing right now. Yeah, I don't know. Um, well, I mean, it's been great being home, uh, being with family and friends, and just kind of being out on the land. But, um, yeah, I have to... I have to come back. <laughs> I have things that uh, I gotta do. I have a new job coming up, so that'll be exciting. Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Okay, we have to hang out when I get back. How has it been there? Yeah, well, I mean, it's no different here, I guess. People just do what they want. <laughs> no, yeah. Ugh. I mean, I don't know. I just, of course, I'm gonna miss it, and I'm thinking, I've been thinking about coming back, but I don't know. That's a bigger conversation and a bigger thing to for me to sit with and think about. <laughs> I mean, we can get into it when I get back, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll message you later. I still have to finish packing. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Bye.
And so I just want to uh, go into a little bit of history about um, round dance in this territory. Maybe about 15 years ago uh, that uh, 
our family hosted uh, the first round dance here in Toronto. And uh, the, the round dance that we hosted was uh, um, honoring my late mother, but at the time she was alive and it was her 70th birthday. And so we had, um, had did, followed all the protocols in order to have this dance. And my son, uh, Gabe, helped with the organization of bringing in the singers. And um, many times in different round dances, he has been um, given the responsibility of what they call a stick man. Stick man is the, the guy that um, organizes the drummers. And he knows who the drummers are and the, the caliber of singing that they bring. So he um, uh, knows that each set of drummers that sing, or each drummer that sings a set of songs, knows the songs, um, the appropriate songs for, for that evening. So what he would do is he would offer um, the, uh, the drummers tobacco, and um, he would also hand them a stick, a drumstick. And, uh, he, he also is the one that takes care of all of the drums. He smudges them down and, you know, he just makes sure that everything goes smoothly for the singers, make sure they have enough to drink and, uh, you know, that they're fed well and everything. The drummers that came, uh, came with the knowledge of songs and the drummers in this territory have been learning from all the drummers across Turtle Island, especially in the West Coast and uh, began to learn the hand drumming songs from them, where eventually they are now creating their own hand drumming songs in this territory. We would have a pipe ceremony prior to the, to the round dance, and, um, and as, as the round dance is a place for our ancestors to come and dance, we wanted to do this in a good way, in a traditional way, with that pipe, with that tobacco, and, and speak to the ancestors and also to the spirit of my late mother to um, get ready to come in to dance with us, to come and feast with us and dance with us. So we would start with a pipe ceremony and then we would uh, go right into the feast and uh, we would make a offering, a spirit plate offering as we dance and we hold hands and we dance in that circle um, and they say, to hold hands, not to uh, not to break off, because uh, the ancestors are there dancing with us. The uh, last part of the dance is is uh, when we the la very to the very last song is when the spirits dance back out and go up into the spirit world. And I've heard different things when you hold hands and you break your foot as you're dancing. You're making the sound of the uh, northern lights. And, and they say those are the ones that dance with us. Those are the ancestors that dance with us. So um, we're making that sound. And, and uh, so we're making that connection, connection to that spiritual realm.
Hello? Hi. Hey, sorry, it might be loud. I'm I'm just outside. No yeah, I'm downtown. Yeah, I'm just headed to uh headed to a thing. Um No, yeah, sorry, I forgot to call you back. It's just been so busy. Mm -hmm. Well I mean starting a new job, I have a couple different uh projects on the go. Yeah, it's it's been a lot, but No, I mean, yeah, it, it's it's good. I I guess I'm just feeling a little untethered. I guess is the word. <laughs> I finally. Um, I mean, I always knew. It's it's the land. I have I've been missing it so much, but. You know, this isn't forever. Mm -hmm. I'm coming home for Christmas. That's the plan anyway. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear you. Glad to hear you're doing all right. I know, yeah, I just have to, I just have to find that connection within myself, even though I'm even though I'm back in Toronto. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I have to hop into a meeting, but good chat with you. Um, hope you're doing well. Stay safe. And I won't forget to call you back this time. <laughs> okay. Okay, sounds good. Bye. I love you. <coughs> Line this. <coughs> Lemon this. <coughs> Line this. <coughs> Lemon this. <coughs> Sound check. Why don't we begin with you introducing yourself? Hi, I'm Chris. A uh, great. Thank you, Chris. Mind sharing your full name, where you live, what you do, a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Christopher Tobias Raphael Tornado Majaki. I live in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The six, what, what? I'm an actor and I love acting. What else is there to know? <laughs> Would you mind telling our viewers what we're doing? Absolutely. Well, I thought it would be an interesting acting tool for me to film a diary of my experiences dealing with this 
a pandemic, not just as a person, but as an actor. How would this affect my craft? Would I lose jobs as a result? My ability to act not just for an audience member or my scene partner, but simply for myself. The man in the mirror. You know? Would I enjoy it as much as others do? <gasps> well, I haven't seen myself act, but I've read the reviews. And apparently, I'm dashing. Or was it dismal? Anyway, these are the questions. I wish to document these times to help further the depths from which I can reach for an emotion at any given time. Or something like that. Plus, you know, in case I'm cast in a film about a pandemic. This way, I'll be able to see, draw, and execute from my own authentic reactions to, you know, it. We'll be checking in with you from time to time. Indeed you shall. Let's begin. How did you handle first hearing about COVID-19? Well, obviously, I had to see it for myself. See what all the fuss was about. So I went out looking for this coronavirus. Did you get that? It's good. Nice braid. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Now I have a little more time on my hands, so. Hey. Oh, yeah. 
So, here we are after week one, and we're interested to find out what you've learned about COVID-19. After conducting my own extensive research on the matter, I've learned it's transmitted through droplets. Yeah! Droplets! I don't want to get into all the biological mumbo-jumbo, but basically it means you really can't see it. The invisible killer. You can run, but you should probably hide. Preferably in a safe place like your home. Have you lost any work as a result of the pandemic? No. I'm good. <laughs> Knock on wood. Maybe check in with that next time. Fingers crossed, this is all over in a couple of months. I mean, there's hope, right? <laughs> there's gotta be hope. Right? Anyone? Hope? Hope! sometimes. I can't help it. I'm so in tune with myself. Okay. Hopefully things return to normal soon. Are you currently working on any projects? Actually, I've just begun work on my biggest project to date. Me. I'm the most important project I'll ever work on. I'm reconnecting with myself on all levels. Mind, body, spirit, energy. Oh, yeah, baby. It's very fulfilling. I've been doing a lot of writing lately too. A lot in my diary. Does that count? I've been experimenting more with my inner dancer. carry a tune, but honey, I ain't no Whitney. <laughs> Get out of here! 
out. Now. Now. I didn't come up with that. Kidding me? Some genius came up with that, okay? Some genius. That ain't me. Uh-uh. I wish. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. All right, I'm ready, thank you. It's been four weeks now, Chris. How are things going with you? I lost all my jobs. All of them! Theater spaces are shutting down everywhere! I feel like I haven't seen people very much either. How am I supposed to act for others if there is not even anyone around to act for? <laughs> other than that, things are great. Has your agency been supportive through this pandemic? My agency and I share a sort of love-hate relationship, if you will. As in, I love them when they find me work and hate them when they don't! <laughs> We're working on it. But seriously, my voice agent is so, so, so supportive. <sighs> hey, hey, while I have you on here, check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a new microphone. I am testing this microphone with my supremely supportive, super sweet, salivating, sunny side up, stupendous, sugar coated, sassy agent. What do you think? Chris, I gotta go now. Bye. My acting agent is always there for me too. Hey, now that I finally got you on the phone, check this out. I've been working on it real hard. No matter where, of comfort, no man speak! Let's talk of graves, of worms, and epitaph! Chris, I gotta go now. Bye. My mom is my biggest fan, and she's had my back since day one. <laughs> hey Ma, got some news for you. I lost all my jobs. Yeah, yeah, even the one that was gonna bring me back home for a little bit. <sighs> it is challenging work being an actor. Can I have some money? Chris, I gotta go now. Bye. You guys almost ready? Me? What are you waiting on me for? I'm good. I, I'm good, okay? I, I don't want to have to wear any pants. Please don't make me wear any pants. They're not going to see anything. It's right there. 
Yes. Hello, Chris. We are eight weeks into this pandemic. Are you finding other ways to keep your mind healthy and occupied? I try meditating. <laughs> That didn't work. So, I tried beating. Oh uh, yeah! Woo! I used to draw as a kid, so I tried drawing. Thank you again for joining us, Chris. We are now in week 24, or six months. Has this pandemic changed how you feel about your craft and being in the arts? Hmm? Well, thanks for having me. It's been quite a ride, but you know what? I'm not going to let this thing get the better of me. I have been through theater school where I rolled around on the ground every day and made sounds like Kee! and Kee! and stretched my spine with I don't know how many roll downs. So I'm not going to let this thing break me. I've had others try to break me, but only I can break me, and right now I don't want to break, I just want to create! Oh gosh, I'm feeling all sorts of things right now. How do you manage to bring this out of me? You're a damn miracle worker, you know that? Thank you so much 
for being here with me right now in this moment. Oh, do you feel this? It's a connection. It's raw. It's real. It's ravishing. Can I give you all a hug right now? Come here, you. Ah, huh. What the? Oh, okay. <laughs> you still. The hell? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, yeah. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. If I was doing the, and you were at the, the whole time it was, 